Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Gaty and in today's video we are finally going to transfer two plants into pond. So if you watched my last video then you know that I decided to propagate these two plants in water. It's been three weeks already and my dragon scale is doing a little better than my philodendron micans. Uh, this one has definitely pushed out more roots. Let me show you. So this is what the root system is looking. It has so many new white healthy roots. And do you see that it's pushing out a little baby right here? I am really excited about that because I have this one leaf yellow in here, if you can see this one right here. But I think this might be just due to stress. The plants are getting less light, it's getting colder here every day. And the sun goes down here at 3.30 p.m., which is really early. So that means that my plants get only six to seven hours of light every day. And I don't have any grow lights here, so they get what they get. My collection is in Florida, so I try to keep it very simple here and not get overwhelmed with plants here. So, And then my philodendron micans. Uh, this one is doing really good. It hasn't gone fully dormant yet. It is pushing out a few leaves here. As you can see, they're still unfurling. I want to know what do you think? So some people told me that this does not look like philodendron micans. But to be honest, it does look to me. I know it doesn't have or it doesn't show the purple hues on the leaves. But if you look closely, like close enough, then you definitely see the purple colors on the back. And the leaves are pretty shiny and velvety so let me know down in the comments what do you think this plant is do you think it's micans or do you think it's something else because i would like to know oh and let me show you the roots as well so this one has been a slow grower for me i mean it's already winter i understand but do you see the few little white roots in the bottom so yeah this one hasn't really been that active growing new roots but I'm still going to transfer it to pond because I don't want to wait any longer. I don't want to like also have them sit in water all winter long. So uh, yeah, so that's the plan. So I think I'm going to do my Alocasia dragon scale first since this one has more established root system. And these are the self watering pots that I use. Uh, they have two strings here in the bottom and I tied a knot in the middle so I just put them through the bottom of the pot. And this planter has a little window here so you can just track the water level through that little window here. And as I mentioned in my last video, I bought two liters of pond so I'm gonna use that. Let's see. I don't really have any tools here with me in a store, so I'm just gonna use this uh, uh, plastic cup. Just put it here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pawn in the bottom. So it looks something like this. Oh, it's kind of hard to show. <laughs> the pawn is moving. All right, I think it looks good. All right, and now I'm just gonna put it here.
I think. Let's see, just gotta push this string this down. So I think it looks really good. I love it already. All right, so this is what it looks. And now let's do my mic ends. All right, we have the strings here. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? It has one, two, three, four, four individual plants in here. All right, so this is one. Let's see, this is two. A little bit stuck in here. All right, let's see, three and four. Mm. All right, let's see. All right, I think something like that. Making a little mess here. All right, let's see. All right, it actually looks really good. I'm really happy how it turned out. Let me show you. It turned out so well. I hope it does well in here. I really do. I love Mikan so much. I love the shimmer, the velvety texture. I have a really nice long Mikan's in Florida and it is really thriving. It's getting so long and the leaves are getting bigger. So I hope this one does well in pond. I'm excited. So this is my first time testing out pond myself. I can't wait to see how my plants do in it. I will keep you updated for sure. But yeah, so this is my micans and this is my Allogasia dragon scale. Look at these two. All right, and now I just need to water these two. Uh, pond is a little dusty, so I'm just gonna wash it off. Let's see, I hope I'm not gonna make a mess. I don't really have a watering gun here, so yet again, I am using this plastic cup here. Let's see. Yeah, so 
it's really dusty, kind of dirty. All right, and now let's do this one. All right, let me just show you the water here. It's pretty dirty. All right, let me just go get rid of this water here in the bottom and then I'm gonna put fresh water in there. All right, I am back. I just filled the bottom all the way with fresh water. You can see the water level here in the bottom. But yeah, so the plants will absorb as much water as they need through the little strings in the bottom. But I don't think they are really going to need as much water right now since, since, it's, since it's the winter season. But I'm so glad I did it. I think it looks so much better. I hope they do well in pond. I will keep an eye on them every day and I will keep you updated on my Insta story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then I will link it right here for you to check out my account. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Say bye.